The woman who has the job of rocking a child can go to the world. So develop your self-respect. You are the Shakti, you are the power. So women have something that they can be of eternal value, that they should develop. The greatest thing is that women can love and love and love, that you respect your mother, the motherhood in you. The woman who did it. Yatra Narya Pujante Tatra Ramante Devata, the where the women are respectable and respected, there the gods reside. Women are very important. Try to be women, very powerful. The powers of a woman are that of love, which are the powers of God. Since 1970, Shri Mataji has given us the pearls of knowledge. She has always spoken about women and their important role, be it in the household or in the society. Many Sajyoginis over the years have learned from Shri Mataji's teachings, imbibed them in their lives and are following the path shown by our beloved Mother. Let us meet some of these Yoginis. Womanhood, it's a great responsibility, first of all. It's the way we have been lucky to have, um, to give, in the way we can give with strength, compassion and love. But strength is very important. Doesn't mean to take the place of men, but to have um, that power inside you that it's the power of a queen which is regal, it's beauty, it's uh, stable, and it gives. That's the main part of womanhood. It gives without any resistance and without being afraid that nobody, somebody can take away from her. Nobody can take anything away from her because we have so much. So the ocean is not worried. It just gives with its waves. And uh, womanhood is like that. Uh, in a part of the Shakespeare's play, it says you are like um, the sea in the tempest and um, you stay there. The sea can move all around, but the base underneath it's stable. So let's deepen up these roots and make the tree beautiful. That's our job. Because we are the power of the power. The people of Rajasthan are the power of the power of Madurga. तो शक्ति रूप है अंदर सेंटर हार्ट जो है सभी नारियों का बहुत स्ट्रांग है वहाँ पे। I think we are the शक्तिस, we are the power. The power is love, love sustains, love supports. I think we are so powerful. And although you know, um, in every country basically, uh, women have to struggle to get a place, they have to struggle to get a position or they have to struggle to be accepted, I think we're just there and we, we should not be afraid of being what we are. We should not be afraid of manifesting this tremendous power, which is love, loving ourselves, loving others, that give us tremendous strength. That's what we are. Shikla Pai Mataji was like a three jam, Jali, and a son packing cheerily, Tabate, Gurborough, but this We have this um, great blessing to know 
that the energy inside of us, it's a motherly energy. So we should know from the beginning that women have a great task and a great role in the society, but they have to accept to be the roots and not, not always aspire to be the fragrant flower, but to be the roots. Being the roots means to dig properly inside the earth, means to be able to na ch channelize the, the nourishment which comes from the earth up to the lymph, uh, up to the uh, sap of the tree and do that work, do that channelized work. Being, um, having the gravity, we need to have gravity. And only with that gravity, whatever sacrifice you may make, you're not disturbed, doesn't wait on you. The roots are not weighed by the tree, they sustain the tree and they don't carry the weight of the tree. As we have learned from Shimataji, the world runs through the love. And if you can give it in some way, I think the best way is cooking. Which there are other expressions as well, but this is in the morning, in the evening, in, during the day, each time you can express it with your love. The women of the house, the stri, and we are the stri shaktis, stri shaktis of Sri Adi Shakti. What a blessing to be an instrument of the divine. Thank we live the better. expectation of Srimati from a woman was a lot higher than a man because She's the backbone of the family, backbone of the society. That was kind of the role that Shumate saw of, of a woman was, you know, be uh, enlightened, be very courageous, be fearless, be self-sufficient. Uh, I, I just call it be a problem solver because <laughs> there is too amazing, you know, you, you, if you look at it, every day there is some little challenge at work, at home, at, with the kids. And the way she found the solutions around it was what I think a mother and a woman is able to do. We, we have great hearts as women and we can include so many people in our hearts. Our, becoming a mother helps us to understand what we have in our heart and from there we can project that to, to many people, to the whole society. The word chastity has become an old-fashioned word, but respect for that chastity, that, that quality of, um, of keeping to your innocence, that is a very essential quality both for boys and for girls um, in to be treasured, to be protected. I've seen many examples of Shimataji herself kind of encouraging ladies actually that, I mean, they can do anything if needed, if they want to, if they feel uh, like doing it. So not to be scared of anything and be very resourceful in the sense that even Shimataji herself was always a resource, resourceful. She was always very positive and finding the, trying to find positive solutions and inspiring solutions for every situation. When the kinetic energy moves, you get a lot of movement. You get lot of, uh, let's say, action, noise, but the potential energy has got that gravity, has got that forbearance, has got that, um, at times also is silent. The education of virtues 
cultural values and dharma of a woman starts at home. At a very young age, the girls are brought up with the Sahaja knowledge and they are raised according to the guidelines given by Shumataji. Absolutely, Saja Yoga has built my character. Saja Yoga has helped me to shape my personality and to help me, really. This is my own choice to stay in Saja Yoga. The childhood was really peaceful, very beautiful. Uh, I was born in Brazil. It was very colourful. We lived in an ashram, so many people, a lot of love, a lot of joy. From there, a much from so already detachment from my parents, and then growing up with so many of the kids and all so many of the children, sleeping with them, and really building bonds that are still deeply rooted in me. And as a kid, you can really le you can really read the language of love. The main thing that I want to do is helping people. I love to cook in collective. In the castle especially is really nice it's fantastic and i like to do the flowers for mother it's really nice job to do i can say that my hobbies are to help people because i don't think like if i start to think in my future i don't see myself like a doctor like a lawyer like a teacher i i see just myself helping people helping the other people but not like in a subtle way, like also physically. I want to go there to maybe to the poor people and help them to live. Because today there are lots of people that don't have even a house, hot water and food and everything. And I feel inside that this is my job in my life to help people. I am a vocalist, a Hindustani classical vocalist. And um, it is my way of expressing myself. It's the way of expressing my devotion uh, to God Almighty, my, my gratitude to this beautiful life. And what I'd like to do is, I would like to share this with everyone. I would like everyone to experience what I'm experiencing, what I've been blessed with, and I would like to see them being transformed. I like to bring happiness and see them uh, enjoying life, enjoying the real beauty of life, finding themselves. It's like if mother has a, a big book and everything, every single life of, of a Sajiyogi is written into it. And it's like if I know already what I have to do because it's written in the book of mother. But did these young children have an easy path? They realize souls. They're different from the other children around them. Did they struggle? Did they ever have to make a choice between a Sahaja life and an outside life? School it's a difficult period of, our, of my life, I have to say, because I go every day at school and I see hundreds of kids who maybe Saturday night they go out to dance and have fun and my Saturday night is reading and seeing a field with my family and sometimes also studying but I'm I see the other people and sometimes yes I'm a bit sad because I would like to go out with them and have fun but then I realized that this is not what I need I need to concentrate on myself I need to learn who I am learn things and I don't need that the fun comes by, by, by outside, but the joy and the happiness has to come from inside. Adolescent moment came and the doubts come and you see your friends and 
having uh, being in an answer high school at that time then you see you know their life is really all normal really easy you know not too many questions not too many rules not too many boundaries and and limits and regulations and things it's like that's easy and they still live well and they're still happy and they still have a normal life i want a normal life too and i was a really shy kid so for me being normal was you know huge aim i always wanted to blend in and not being seen and just went like be like everybody else so it seems so beautiful in that moment to be normal and the girls young like me have to be really careful because the world outside is really dangerous is really a dangerous place we have to always be in collective together and never be alone because also when you're alone you enter in a world in your mind and you start thinking about things that are useless after a while you just see that their life is not so beautiful as it's portrayed as it's seen from the out when you go deeper in you still have some quests and some deeper like issues that you want to discover yourself and with those means you know that you can't reach those points and and then you really go to see that how like empty it is after right after i started meditating i must have been around 14 or 15 uh, i had this group of friends and i was invited to a birthday party and uh, everyone you know started drinking there all my friends were drinking and uh, i was expected to do the same right so they kind of insisted and they were like you know why don't you join us you should also drink but then it was so natural for me to say no it was so natural for me to know that that's not the right thing to do so i simply refused and I did it with that, you know, dignity and I, I never felt bad about it. I had that complete confidence. But, you know, at the end of the party, when we were about to say goodbye and everything, they told me uh, we were pretty sure we were going to convince you and you would give in to drinking with us, but you didn't. And we appreciate you for this. And that was for me mind blowing because that, that was for me one of the very first experiences uh, when you know when you're standing on your own values right and you're being appreciated for that uh, shimaraji was the key point for me not to leave such yoga so whenever i doubted such yoga whenever i doubted the institution whenever i doubted the, everything around here the collectivity how people were judged many things i never doubted her so not doubting shimaraji at the end, you always have a lighthouse there for you. And you know that even if you're in the storm, she's always there. She's always in you. And um, so she's been the key point for sure. I'm so grateful for Mother and for Sajja Yoga. Like from, my, for the, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so grateful. The life of a woman completely changes and takes another turn after marriage. It's a new life, new atmosphere, and a new culture. With Sahaj marriages, maybe even a new country. What is the Sahaj marriage process, and how has the journey been for the yoginis married in Sahaj Yoga? Conform to the divine laws of marriage and get married under those laws. So marriage is a very big blessing in Sahaja Yoga because all the, all the gods and all the angels are watching these marriages. If we develop that kind of a balanced view about our married life, about our social life, we'll be ideal people in this world. That is what Sahaja Yoga is, that it gives a balance. Then you start enjoying each other's company so much that even in the house you enjoy, outside also enjoy. So you can be together inside the house, also outside. The interests are the same, because the interest becomes the same. Like the flowers who fall on the Mother Earth, make the Mother Earth fragrant, and then we can say that Mother Earth is pregnant. Sri Mataji used to fix up the matches, and tell the names. And the boy and girl, they are allowed to meet and talk to each other and give their consent. 
now these days uh, when shri mataji is physically not present now what we are doing we are using vibrations uh, there is a small team marriage team they first see the worldly parameters like age height education um, any divorce issue etc and after that uh, they check the vibrations and after checking vibrations once the match is made they are allowed to meet each other and give consent in short the boy and girl they are not doing self match so when i was young i saw many sahaj marriages and also the marriages which are outside of sahaj and uh, it really was a big concern for me because i had seen the ladies who are married outside of sahaj yoga ordinarily they really suffered because they couldn't come to collective meditation and they couldn't meditate anymore because there was pressure from husband sides and parents in law side and it was really difficult for them and for me um life without sahaj makes no sense so i thought that it's for me it makes sense that i don't choose a hard path if it's possible and if i am worthy of shri mata ji's attention of sahaj marriage shri mata ji please let me marry in sahaj and that blessing came to me in 1996 and in ganapati pule shri mata ji arranged our marriage and i got married to hans kuna from austria and i'm really blessed i just want to say that thank you shri mata ji for marrying me to hans kuna jaise hum rajasthan mein jo shaadiyan hoti hain जो मेरे कल्चर में जो शादियां हुई उसमें हम लोग को बहुत ज़्यादा पर्दा है हम अपने पति से भी बात नहीं कर सकते बहुत ज़्यादा पर्दे में रहना है बहुत कंडीशंस हैं किसी से आप कुछ बोल नहीं सकते अपने मन की बात आपको अंदर ही अपने घुट के रहना पड़ता है लेकिन जब शादी आपके सहज में होती है तो श्री माता जी आपको एक समाज के थ्रू भी पति के थ्रू भी सबसे एक रिस्पेक्ट भी मिलती है आपका एक आपको खुद के एक आत्मसम्मान जो एक नारी का होना चाहिए वो मिलता है आपको जो एक नारी की जो शक्ति जो रूप है वो आपको सहज की शादी में ही पता चलता है कि आपके अंदर क्या क्या शक्तियां हैं और आप अपनी शक्तियों को कैसे आगे बढ़ा सकते हैं और कैसे उस पर विश्वास करके आगे बढ़ सकते हैं क्योंकि सहज मैरिज के अलावा एक सहजुगी के लिए बहुत मुश्किल है when i was 19 i got married and the first year i couldn't even understand my husband we couldn't even speak to each other when i got married and went to my to my husband place i missed my parents there was not even uh, the indian food but i felt shimata ji matched us so there is a reason we have some duty to do it was amazing how everybody was giving me love teaching me new things the new language yeah so they always took care that they spoke with me very slowly gently so that i learned the new language and then they really means they really took care of me and let me feel comfortable in the ashram and afterwards i learned from them how to give comfort to the others माताजी सारख प्रेम कर श्री माताजी जे प्रेम आहे ते प्रेम जेव हृदयात ये सगड़ी ती स्त्री प्रेमा वगू शकते हे जग प्रेमा जिंकता पहजयोगे श्री माताजी खर कर दाखिल है हि का नुस्ती मन नहीं है द ग्री लक्ष्मी क्वालिटीज या द क्वालिटी विच कैन कम्फर्ट अदर्स विच कैन मेक अदर्स फील हैप्पी फील जॉयस एंड दैट आई लर्न फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट फ्रॉम श्री माची जी हर सेल्फ वेन आई खेम फर्स्ट टाइम टू कबेला एंड आई मेट श्री माची जी शी वॉज सो कॉन्सर्न she just looked at me and she said are you happy 
I, is everything all right? I saw this concern, this karuna in her eyes. And I felt that I am back to my mother's house. And this concern, I can never forget. These eyes, I can never forget. And when I went back, I also tried my best to give my ashramites, means my, the people whom, with, with whom I live, the, at least a bit of this comfort. Because when I was married here, there were conditions in India, our conditions of the society, conditions of the family. And here, there is a different culture, different traditions. हर रिश्ते को समय लगता है थोड़ा मैंने श्रीमाती से प्रार्थना करी कि माँ मेरे चित्त में आइए और मुझे गृह लक्ष्मी के समस्त गुण आप प्रदान कीजिए श्रीमाती जी कि मैं सबको समझ के सबको प्यार से लेकर चलूँ और मैं अपने पति को समझ सकूँ और श्रीमाती जी ने सच में मुझे इस चीज़ के लिए बहुत बड़ा आशीर्वाद दिया इन इंडिया इट्स अ मैन डोमिनेटिंग सोसाइटी एंड आई हैड सीन that in normal marriages the men they dominate the ladies a lot yeah but when i came to vienna after, and i saw my marriage when i went inside to see my marriage i saw that how much love and respect i received from my partner bahut bar hum log ka ego aur super ego dono clash hote hain tab hum main shimadi ko samarpit kar deti hu maa ke charno mein ki maa aap mere ghar ke bade bhi hain मेरी माँ भी हैं और मेरी गुरु भी हैं तो माँ आपको जैसा सही लगता है वैसा ही होना चाहिए श्रीमाती जी फिर श्रीमाती जी इनके चित्त में भी बैठते हैं मेरे चित्त में भी बैठते हैं और सब काम सुचारू रूप से बहुत सुंदर से हो जाते हैं फिर माँ के काम में तो कोई कमी है ही नहीं नवरा असा वागला है चिड़ला है तो वेस बायको शांत रही तर काही बिगड़त नहीं तला का कमीपणा घता नहीं कि कभी बायकोपण रागवली कि थकली वगैरह क्या जर नवरिया शांत राहन समझू घयकोला तो पुढ़े का हीच मोटा प्रश्न कि तनाव ये नहीं there was a period that somehow i felt a bit maybe stressed out because the life of uh, i mean married marriage life was something new to me and i had to study i had small children so sometimes i was feeling overwhelmed a little bit left side in the sense you know feeling like crying but then i remember uh, once there was some incidents where sandeep was with shimata ji and uh, the topic had come out that ladies should not cry he said i don't know why but she actually said in front of these other people that you see you should take example from sandeep's wife she never cries for anything it was a message for me but very sweetly <laughs> delivered that i realized okay it's not a good thing it doesn't help kharo kharach khup vichitra gosht navrya madhe asu shakte bayko madhe asu shakte ani त्या थराला गेलं की आता आपल्याला वेगळं राहावं लागणार आहे तर श्रीमाताजींनी सांगितलं आहे की जर अशा टोकाच्या गेलेल्या गोष्टी असतील तर श्रीमाताजींनी अगदी डायव्होर्स घेऊ नका किंवा सेपरेट होऊ नका असं सांगितलं नाही आहे पण शक्यतो ते मॅरेज निभवून न्या असं सांगितलं आहे पण समजा जर वेळ आली वेगळं व्हायची तर त्या बाईंनी लगेच एकदम लेफ्ट साईडला किंवा डिप्रेशन मध्ये जाता कामा नये उलट तिने ध्यानाची स्थिती आपली जास्त वाढवली पाहिजे कलेक्टिव्हिटी मध्ये गेलं पाहिजे बेसिकली ह्युमन लाईफ इज फॉर द स्पिरिच्युअल असेंट अँड इफ यू आर स्पॉइलिंग बिकॉज ऑफ वन पर्सन ही मे बी एनी बडी वेदर हजबंड वाईफ फादर मदर सो ड्यू टू इनविटेबल सिच्युएशन यू बेटर सेपरेट बट ही और शी दे हॅव टू मेंटेन सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट दे हॅव टू मेंटेन द चेस्टिटी and surrender to shimata ji and once you are following this and you are balanced shimata ji will give you direction to you and you have to follow the direction and it will be definitely much better for your spiritual life being a housewife is one of the most beautiful roles a woman can play
she can also carry out the role of a working woman with equal strength. At the same time, she can be an artist. She is extremely courageous and she can handle any situation. उस दिन की जो घटना वो ऐसे थी जैसे सुबह शमा हम लोग काजा फोर में पहुँचे माँ को दीपक किया और बंधन लेके जैसे ही मैं मुड़ी तो मेरे पीछे पुलिस जो थे चालीस पैंतालीस लोग लंबे गन के साथ और उनके साथ लेडीज़ भी थी जो बड़े ऑफिसर्स और ये सब लोग थे जो मैंने कभी नहीं देखे थे मुझे लगा था कि ये लोग जो हैं चेकिंग के लिए ऐसे आए हैं लेकिन मुझे ये नहीं पता था कि वो किसी और मकसद से आए तो कुछ देर के लिए मेरा सेंटर हार्ट एकदम ब्लॉक हुआ लेकिन शिमाते जी मैंने आँख बंद करके शिमा से प्रार्थना की शिमाते जी कृपया मेरे सहस्त्रार में आइए और ये आके सामने क्या है मुझे नहीं पता शिमाते जी मुझे कुंडलिनी मेरे सहस्त्रार में फील हुई और मेरा शास्त्र एकदम ठंडा तो मुझे और मेरे सेंटर हार्ट ओपन हुआ मुझे लगा हाँ शिमत जी मेरे साथ है और वो लोग अंदर आए अंदर आते ही उन्होंने मुझे इटालियन में सवाल पे सवाल करना शुरू किया मैंने कभी इटालियन नहीं बोली थी पहले और कैसे शिमत जी ने पूरे एक पेज की स्पीच मेरे से बुलवाई इटालियन में उन्होंने सब पूछा हम यहाँ कैसे काम करते हैं हम कौन हैं यहाँ पे किस तरह शिमत जी ने मुझ सारी सिचुएशन को संभाला और किस तरह वो लोग इतने खुश होके गए कि मुझे भी विश्वास नहीं और औरों को भी नहीं हुआ कि किस तरह और सब कुछ इतना सुचारू रूप से हुआ कि शिमत जी के अंडर में था सब कुछ तो अगर आप माँ जब जैसे माँ कहते हैं कि आज जब आप मुझे पूर्ण हृदय से शस्त्रार पे जब आप बुलाते हैं तो मैं अपने अस्त्र शस्त्र लेकर हाजिर होती हूँ जब भी मेरे बच्चे ने अगर मुझे पूर्ण हृदय से पुकारा है तो मैं जरूर आऊँगी और वास्तव में ऐसा ही हुआ जब शिवाद ने मुझे मैंने माँ से प्रार्थना करी माँ सच में आए मैं बहुत संतुलन में थी सब इतने प्रेम से मैं बिल्कुल घबराई नहीं बिल्कुल भी अनबैलेंस नहीं हुई मैं सारे जवाब शिमात जी ने सब कुछ तैयार करे हुए थे सब कुछ माँ ने बुलवाया बाद में उन लोगों ने जो लिखा इटालियन में जो मैंने बोला उन्होंने मुझे पढ़ के सुनाया बकायदा कि ये सब आपने बोला मुझे मेरे कानों पर विश्वास नहीं था कि ये मैंने बोला है सब इटालियन में और बाद में उन्होंने न्यूज़ में भी छापा कि इन लोगों की किचन नंबर वन थी दिस ईयर वेन आई वेंट टू इंडिया टू गिव माई मदर सरप्राइज ऑन अ बर्थडे we both went to alibag and then i realized why mother had actually sent me to india because to my surprise the village people had made um from the court and stay order that i am not supposed to build there anything and they thought i was not there but mother had sent me and then suddenly when we reached the mother's house there were around 800 village people coming in the direction of me but i i felt the power that shimata ji can make she gave me the power like durga i was so calm i felt that there was no sign of scaredness in me the first word which i came to my mind is this house is my mother's house and i told the whole village i said i am here not to fight there is the shiva temple this is adi shakti's house and we want to spread me and my husband are coming in 2 years to alibag and stay here and we want to spread the 
Shri Mataji's love and Sahaj Yoga. So I don't want to fight with anybody because the whole ground what is here belongs to all of us. And they were shocked because actually they thought I would react or fight. But mother taught us with love we can solve all problems and we want to spread mother's word. We have many projects in Sahaja Yoga, which the women have carried out in an amazingly beautiful manner. My parents, Harishchandra Kohli and Lakshmi Kohli, built a house for Shimataji, and we had many pujas in Alibagh. I and my husband feel it's the time to go to Alibagh. Now my, it has become a project of my life because my husband and me. We want that mother wanted this place to be heaven on earth and that's why I want to give my Shramadan till the less, last drop of my blood I will stay there and do her work. About this preparation point I always have a discussion with my husband because we both are still young, we are still not in pension and I know in the whole world there are so many projects going about mother's work but I never in my whole till now I never asked anybody for donation so the only till now the only answer to my husband is if time comes I will sell whatever gold I have because it's not important but mother's house what is staying in Alibagh is more important in this for me and it should stay because as I said before these things are going to be in history of Sahaj Yoga. When Kabela started in 1991, there was Guru Puja and we had a catering food for all the yogis which Sri Mataji didn't like at all because the food was really horrible and she said my children deserve something better and that's why she started Kabela kitchen for cooking. She built all the kitchen downstairs and uh, big fireplaces which was uh, wood fireplaces she bought all the utensils she needs and she also ordered a whole container of uh, all the ingredients she needed for the cooking and that's how she established the Kabela kitchen that's why she was cooking for them for all the common people and uh, with such a love in the beginning, there were only few people, few means few hundred, but slowly it raised to the thousand people and we didn't have enough pots. We have to make a proper kitchen, a professional kitchen. Quindi abbiamo comprato un po' di macchine che sono due grandi brasiere, sono delle specie di vasconi dove si cucina dentro ed è, ed è molto pratico perché si cucina in vita, in alto, non bisogna abbassarsi, non ci si rompe più la schiena, 
eh, sono motorizzate per cui si sollevano per togliere il cibo e poi sicuramente la macchina più importante dentro la cucina oggi è il forno che è costato forse 15.000 euro per cui una macchina importante eh, questi carrelli pieni di, di si chiamano gastronom di vassoi di teglie col cibo per esempio di teglie di lasagne ne entrano 20 per volta abbiamo tre carrelli per cui noi possiamo nel giro di poco sfornare 60 teglie di lasagne è stato particolare il, il discorso budget perché le donne eh, io e questo gruppo assieme abbiamo pensato di fare di aprire una raccolta eh, chiedendo aiuto alle donne per una cosa che sarebbe servita anche tanto alle donne e quindi abbiamo, ci siamo inventati di tutto, per cui alcuni collettivi hanno organizzato serate, cene, eh, la cena per raccogliere i soldi per la cucina di Cabella. Eh, vendiamo le collanine e con ricavato facciamo una donazione per la cucina di Cabella. L'abbiamo chiamato Annapurna Project, con, eh, forse con le benedizioni di Annapurna. E, e tipo in tre mesi forse abbiamo aperto questa idea, abbiamo detto chi vuole faccia una donazione specifica a questo progetto e abbiamo raccolto 50.000 euro in tre mesi che rispetto alle raccolte fondi eh, a Cabella è veramente tanto. is the beauty which is inside of us expressed in a creative way so if each and every person uh, spends a little bit of their time to evolve the creativity manifest the creativity inside of them creativity is in the arrangement of flowers is in the way uh, you are cooking the way you are setting your table in the way you keep your house in the way you welcome your guests in the way you talk and you express yourself with others. You can be an artist in every second of your life by creating beauty around you. And that beauty is just a manifestation of your soul and your spirit. So you have to be an artist of yourself. It's a theatre company, international theatre company, which has been started in the 1996 by the inspiration and the desire of Sri Mata Jinir Maladevi, um, who talked uh, first uh, to us and in the specific to my husband uh, about this project, about the need to have a theatre company uh, which was manifesting the spiritual values and bringing forward um, an, a vision which represented an enlightened culture. Culture of the Spirit was born from Thev with the need of sharing um, the attitude that there is inside this company, with the desire to share an enlightened culture which is an integrated culture. So to be instrument of that inspiration, to be an instrument of that culture. That's what we do with the Culture of the Spirit Festival. We started in Cabella in the Val Borbera in Italy, but we brought it also around even in America and in different parts of Europe. 
with great success because really that's where the, all the artists merge into one vision where everybody is there for everybody else. There is not the artist, there is not the ego of the artist, but there is a will and desire of sharing this culture and to bring the divine inspiration through their own arts. the desire to build up also an orchestra, the Divine Symphony Orchestra, which uh, actually was born in Cabella, again through the suggestion of Mother, a year before, when she heard the first time uh, the Magic Flute production that we had in America, uh, she uh, expressed the desire to call it the Divine Symphony Orchestra. Oh my God. 